Gamers, it's Kristen, and I have a Nordstrom video for you. I realize there are hundreds of them out there, but hundreds of you <laughs> messaged me wanting to see what my picks for this year were. So I'm going to kind of do this. By the way, it's the end of a very long day that I'm filming this. So if my makeup doesn't look as delightful and fresh as it usually does, that is why. Um, I will link everything below for you and I'll tell you at the end what I'm wearing on my face. But I do want to say the shirt is, I got it from Torrid eons ago. It's not available anymore, but just in case you're curious. Okay, so what I did is I kind of went through, like I did with the other, the half yearly sale or whatever, and I put up the things that I'm interested in my cart, some things I put in there just to kind of remind me, hopefully I take them out, to want to talk to you about them. I have some things here, like from previous sales, so let's, we're just going to go ahead and jump into this. So first I want to talk about leggings. Now, and I'll put pictures up here while I'm talking to you, here or here or somewhere. Um, the Zella leggings, I... Um, found those last year. I discovered those last year. And I have a pair, the Capri pair with just a little bit of, um, what do they call it? Sheerness in the back. I love them. They're so comfortable. They have worn so well. And I would show you them, but they are in the wash. So there's another pair with a little bit different sort of mesh showing that I think I may get this year. But I wanted to tell you guys that I really feel like they're very good quality. So that's the first thing I want to talk, talk about. Second thing I want to talk about is was a um, suggestion from you guys last year, and it was the yummy, I think that's what these are, yummy leggings. So it's, I'm not, I can't really show you much aside from the, here is my pair. I liked these so much that when I put a hole in mine because I caught it on something, I wanted on a suitcase on a trip, totally not the fault of the leggings. <laughs> I liked them so much that I repurchased them right away. And these are, they are on sale as well. And um, I may get a, I may get another back a pair, actually a pair size that are a size smaller than the ones I currently have, but these are thick. They are, um, they do sort of fade like kind of black leggings do, but not, not as much as some others that I have had in the past. So just kind of keep that in mind. It's that type of material that just is going to fade, but, um, super, super comfortable and kept me warm, kept everything tight. You know what I'm saying? So I really like those as a recommendation. Okay, let me set these to the side. Last pair of leggings that I want to talk about are, um, I mentioned these pretty much every year, and these are the Vince Camuto. They're actually, I think they're two by Vince or something, I don't know. They sell these, I believe, both in straight sizes and plus sizes. These are by far the best dress pair of leggings I've ever purchased in my whole life. I have had this original pair now, for three years. This is, I think I'm going into my fourth season if I remember correctly. Do you see how black they still are? Compare, let me describe this. Compared to these ones that have faded a little bit. So black they, and they hold their shape so nicely. They feel more like a pant, but they're legging super comfortable. And they come in the black. They have this charcoal color that I really like. And then, um, as I drop them, also a brown. So I can't recommend these enough. And I know tons of you have gotten these in the past and have come back to tell me how much you like them as well. So that is leggings. Now, one, something I want to talk about, I think I'm just going to go through the things that I have here pulled out and then we'll get into the things that I've found in the cart. So this I wanted to talk about because so many of you loved this. Every time I wear this sweater, I got compliments. Every time. Strangers, <clears throat> flight attendants, uh, you know, yeah, hotel clerks. I mean, you name it, I've got. So this is, it, it doesn't look like all that. It's a Castlin sweater. And this, I think they only have in straight sizes this year, but it runs a little bit big. So uh, I'll link again what, what I can find. But on the back, it has the zipper that comes down and, you know, it can, it can, it can you can zip it up if you want to have a little bit more open or whatever but it's come it's not let me show you it's not like it's open when you unzip it you know what i'm saying it just adds a little interest and i i gotta tell you one i this is probably my most worn item from last year so um not from the sale but like my most worn item <laughs> i wore this with jeans I, it came down enough that i could wear it with leggings um i wore it casual i dressed it up Awesome, loved that. That was a great find last year. Really happy about that. Okay, something else that they have carried a couple of years now on the sale, and this year I, I couldn't find it in plus size. I only found it in straight size, but I'm actually going to order. I can kind of go in between. 
I'm gonna order the gray one in the, um, probably the largest size that the straight size comes in, but this is a Castlin. It's a, it's a draped sort of jacket. It has a little tie, oh no, this one doesn't have the tie. The one that they have this year looks similar, but I'm pretty sure it has a tie now that I say that. And this one is the tie on the inside on this one. Yeah, there it is, I knew there was a tie here. So you can cinch it as tight as you want or leave it as loose as you want. I've worn this so much. This is a perfect item for traveling or just for the fall to throw something on. It just, it can take your like t-shirt and jeans. You throw that on and you just look a little, you know, a little bit more together. I try to look in this sale for brands that I like and then for pieces within those brands that I like that I feel are really versatile and are normally a little bit more expensive, but I can get them for a better deal. Lastly, but certainly not leastly, is the uh, Barefoot Dreams sweater. If you have not, if you've not tried a Barefoot Dreams sweater, I beg of you, just try one. Nordstrom is free shipping to you and free shipping back if you don't like it. You have literally nothing to lose. It's a, it's a, it's a legit term of the word literally. Nothing to lose. So this is the, it's the circle cardigan that, that would be my pick. They have a one this year that kind of has a, it has a stripe on the bottom of it and hood on the back. I didn't get any of the ones with a hood on the back last year. I talked about it and then I didn't. And I may end up getting one of those, but I'll list a couple of different options for you guys below. So this is the one, and I think this is was called blue. I can't remember what the actual blue is. And this is the, the gray. I think it might be called charcoal. But I love, I have, I have far too many Barefoot Dream sweaters. Okay, so I'm going to kind of just move up what I have in my cart here. They're not going to be in any sort of real order, so I apologize if you're looking for things in an order. Normally I like to have things in order, but today that's not happening. Um, okay, so by Castlin, when I was looking, they have this really pretty blue, they call it blue dark. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but it's a V-neck back sweater and it has a tie on the back. And I think that just looks really cute. Again, it's that Castlin brand that that adds just a little bit of interest. It's a nice sort of basic piece, but it adds a little bit of interest. And that color, stunning. It's going to be so pretty. I can't wait for that one. So that, that for me is a for sure, is a for sure. So here's something that I've kind of, um, back and forth on. And again, it looks like it looks like my cart here, by the way, I was searching kind of by brand and putting things in my cart. So this is another Castlin item. Um, it seems to have grouped them together. It's an olive camel, um, what do they call it? Twill utility skirt. I'm curious about this. I'm not sure exact, I'm, I'm, I'm not 100% on whether I'm ordering this or not. Um, I'm not. And I don't believe it comes in straight size. I think just plus size but it just looks like it might be kind of cute and something different. And so I'm kind of back and forth on that. I don't wear a ton of skirts, so I'm not really sure about it, but I don't know. I kind of like the camel edge to it. We'll see. The next thing I put in here, apparently I'm on a, on a camel kick. You know that I love a baseball tee or like a raglan tee. And this one with the gray, again by Cass, and with the gray um, sleeves and then the camel, it kind of, I don't know, kind of caught my eye. So that though both of those camel things are, I'm 50-50 and I haven't quite decided, but something to look at. Um, okay. The next thing is that is you know what actually i'll talk about this i'm going to stick a picture up up of it here but it's that castle and back zip so i'm going to get it in this color right here um it's a i can't what it's called it's called pink cedar because i want another one i didn't really want to want, want the black one and i thought about the blue one but i thought i needed to add some color into my world so i'm going to go with that one it kind of looks like a a darkish coral <laughs> sort of anyway you can see the picture Okay, and I think this might be the, oh no, I have a couple of castle things. So there's two things left. This long, it's called a long marled cardigan. No idea what marled mean. I probably should, but I don't. And I think I'm going to get this in the navy white option. Um, it's just a nice long sort of, not quite a duster length, but kind of getting there. <laughs> and I really love these sweaters, particularly for travel days or for, you know, I'm wearing leggings and a longer t-shirt and I want to throw it on and run out to Walmart or whatever. I just love these sort of longer sweater. So I'm pretty sure that I'm going to get that one. Not 100% sure, I'm pretty sure. And then the last Castlin thing is this roll neck cotton wool blend sweater. Um, again, this comes in just straight size or petite. And I like this color though, the color, hopefully I'm putting up the, the color that I want. Um, I don't have, I, I don't like things like real right up here, but this looks like it might be loose enough that um, I think I think I'll be able to deal with it. So so I'm going to take a look at that and that, I mean, for 50 bucks, I think that's a really good price for a nice sweater. And I, I've had good luck with the Castlin brand before. 
All right. Then I was looking at Zella because I was looking for those leggings and then I saw this wrap sweater. I think that I'm going to get it in the gray and I just like that it's a little bit different. I'm not going to wear it in the way that the picture shows. I would wear a tank underneath it. Not, I would not be showing any skin underneath it. However, I just think it's cute. Again, it's different. It's something fun. You could dress it up or dress it down completely. Um, so I really like that. I think that's going to be a nice sort of interesting pick. Um, I have a couple pairs of shoes in here that I want to show you. One is these Vince Camuto Pervista booties. Let me get mine from last year. Okay, so the ones I last year, I can't remember exactly what the name was, but this is what they looked like. And I really was so annoyed with myself that I didn't get them in black. And I'm looking to see if they say anything on them. They don't really. But these are so I wore these so much last year I can't even tell you how many times I wore these and they look how, how well they held up I thought and this is you know ice and snow and whatnot I just feel like they held up really well so I'm absolutely 100% getting those the the I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about that sort of lacing thing on the split calf there but we'll see when they come in I'm, I'm really excited about those really 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 excited about those so then I was looking at these, the Lucky brand, they're called Perma Booties. And hopefully I'm going to get it to show up in the color that I want. I want to get them in this sort of raisin leather. I don't have anything in that color. I think you can do a bunch of sort of fun things with that. And I like the open on the side, that sort of thing. So we're going to see. I've never ordered from Lucky brand as far as shoes before. I've ordered clothes from that. Oh, I didn't even look to see what Lucky had. You know what? I'm going to just put a Lucky Brand link here. Check out check out their, I, I, I don't know. I really like the <laughs> Lucky Brand shorts. So this video is probably going to be long enough as it is. So I won't, I won't bore you going into even more stuff. But anyway, so those shoes, I just, I, I, I wear flats. I don't generally wear heels. This, the heel that this has is as, as much of a heel as I go, particularly um, like if I'm traveling the airport or whatever. So these ones just look really cute and fun and different. So, but, but what I was going to say is that I don't know if they're, um, I mean, they don't have a wide width in these and my foot is just a little bit wide, not a ton wide. So we'll see how that goes. I will, when I get my order in, I'll do another video and show you guys what all I ended up getting. And I'll kind of talk about what worked and what didn't for me. If that would be helpful, let me know. Okay. So the next things, it's not something I would normally go for, but they kind of look comfortable and I love the slippers that I have by UGG and I don't know. So these are the Milana 2 Mock Toe Flat, I don't know, they're moccasins. And I love them in this, it's called Charcoal Nubuck color. Um, I just, I don't know, I think I could get a ton of use out of these and uh, I, I just, I don't know. That, so they're on my list. I, I'm curious, again, I'll let you know how they fit when I get them in. Okay, I want to talk about two sort of beauty products. Um, one is the Alterna Caviar Set. I think that I'm going to get this. I'm not 100% sure. Only because the caviar products that I've used, the caviar shampoo that I used, was the different one. It wasn't these dark ones. I have some of these dark ones um, just in the regular sizes, and I haven't quite used them yet. So I'm back and forth on whether I'm going to get this or not, but I love everything in the caviar line. So I feel like it would be a sure bet, but... You just never know. So I haven't quite decided for sure on that. And then next, last year I got, um, I think two, they, they had multiple sets last year. Looks, year. looks like this year, they just have the one set. It's the Charlotte Tilbury, the Pretty Pink Lipstick Set. And it has, as you can see, two lipsticks. I can't remember the shades. I'll, I'll hopefully list them here for you. And I remember that the lip liner was in Pillow Talk. And those are some of my top lip liners of all time. I really like, they just seem to work well. Um, and the lipsticks you guys know I love. I have too many of them. I, of, of that brand, they're probably one of the ones I have the most of. I think I have almost, maybe nine or ten of them. And last year I got a bunch of them in the sale because they had, they had a lot more kits. I feel like I got either two or three of these kits last year. So they may have just decided to, done, to do the one this year. But anyway. And then lastly, this is not specific to any item, although I do really like these particular earrings. But the Kendra Scott, these are the Kirsten Drop earrings. And I like them in that black color. I like kind of simple things like that, especially for um, customer, visit, customer visits, church, that sort of thing. So, um, but in general, they don't have a ton of Kendra Scott items. 
but I just really like how you know, there are different shapes that come out. It's not always the same, but they still always have kind of the same feel. I really, I feel like they are classy, but they're also edgy at the same time. I don't know. I really like Kendra Scott, Scott products. I have quite a few pairs of earrings and a couple necklaces and a bracelet now. And so just take, I thought I would just kind of mention this and then, you know, you can from there take a look at the other items. So anyway, I hope that that was helpful. Um, again, I'm sorry that this is filmed at the end of the day. If you have watched on my, if you watch my Instagram stories, actually it was earlier today. I was talking about how Bob is struggling a little bit with some pain in his shoulder. We're not sure exactly if it's a sprain or whatever, but I ended up taking him, um, to another city today to get some, some better care than he was getting here in our city. And um, hopefully he will be on the mend soon, but I wasn't even sure if I was gonna get this video done today for you guys. But so many of you guys requested it. I really, I didn't want to sort of leave you in the lurch, so. All right, um, on my face today, I have the um, Dior, I have the Dior Forever Undercover Foundation. For blush, I have Cargo Tonga. On my eyes, which is the biggest question that I got on my Instagram today, is the Jaclyn Hill palette, the original big palette. And then on my lips, I have the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Verona. And then I put some Becca Glow Gloss in Champagne Cream over the top of it. And I think that that is everything. I'll try to list everything again for you below since so many of you do seem to appreciate that. All right, that's it. Happy shopping. I'll come back if you'd like with my haul. Hopefully here soon. I'm going to try to figure out tonight what I'm going to order and not going to order. And so hopefully I can have that up for you soon. I do have a video that I've already filmed on um, how I'm doing on using up products in 2018. And then I have a haul video to film as well. So hopefully we'll have some things going on here. We're going to have a lower key weekend than I thought we were going to have because of, I know, just kind of letting Bob heal. So thank you all so much for your thoughts and prayers for him. I appreciate it. And I appreciate you guys. You guys are truly the best, and I just, like I said, I, I appreciate all your kind words and your prayers for him, and I appreciate you guys being here. So with that, I think that that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching, and in everything that you do and say, be beautiful. Bye.